Good day, I'm Sander Yadaw from Group 10 along with Michelle Asidera and Nicole Quintero. And we are here to answer some questions on the activity regarding of hypothesis testing. On the activity 1, rejected or not rejected, based on the given, decide whether the null hypothesis is rejected or not. So on number, the number 1, the computed value is greater than the critical value. So we reject the decision because it is the computed value is greater than. On number two, we accept the we the decision is accepted since the computed value is less than the critical value. And on number three, the decision is rejected since the computed value is greater than the critical value. On number 4, it is also rejected because computed value is also greater than the critical value. And on number 5, the decision is accepted since the computed value is less than the critical value. And now let's move on to activity number 2, find me. Complete the table below, use the table C. So the number 1 is given so let's move on to number two on number two it is a two-tailed test because of the symbol and we do not reject the null hypothesis since the computed value is less than the critical value now let's move on to number three so we got the critical value 2.056 and it is uh less than the re so less than the computed value so we reject we reject the null hypothesis and the number four we got the sample size of 19 so and the computed value is and the computed value is less than the critical value so we do not reject the null hypothesis and on number five we got 0 0.025 and a computed value of 1.008 and a critical value of 1.960. So the computed value is less than the critical value. So we do not reject the null hypothesis. And that's all for group 10. I hope you learned something.